Hey guys, welcome back to the bath lab. Uh, it's been a while, but we're going to do something a little different today. Um, what I have here is uh, two jars of Harmala acetate. Um, this started out as uh, about four liters of water and uh, and about two, 250 grams of raw Syrian root seed. Cooked it down, uh, filtered it several times, and reduced uh, the four liters down to what we have here, about a liter and a half, um, if that much. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add a basic solution. Um, this is sodium carbonate. Uh, it's a food grade base. Anyone can make it in their home. All you have to do is basically put baking soda in the oven and, uh, and you'll cause a chemical reaction that turns baking soda into sodium carbonate, and removes a carbon atom. So we have a saturated sodium carbonate solution. I've got enough in there that it won't quite all dissolve. Um, that's why it looks milky. And on the bottom, there's actually a couple of crystals trying to form. So uh, what, what we're going to do here is these have been in a heat bath for a while, and they're, they're not hot at all. They're just, they're just warm. Never want to get anything so hot that you're threatening to break glass. Um, so anyway, there's, there's a full inch of sediment on the bottom of each of these because I've let it just set for a while now in the... Uh, in the refrigerator. So I'm going to go ahead and stir that up. Now we want this warm, not hot. The idea is uh, is uh, chemical reactions in general tend to be more effective uh, the higher the temperature. So anyway, now this is when the magic is supposed to happen. Let's see if I can do this without spilling any of this basic solution. Um, if I do, I've got a little bit of apple cider vinegar here, ready to splash immediately on whatever gets touched with the base, and I've got the full jar of it over there. So we're, we're covered. Um, give this one more stir. And uh, this stuff is a strong dye at this point. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but my countertop is stained with this stuff. Um, and it's really hard to get out, but I, I try to do what I can because I really don't like a messy workspace. Okay, um, let's see here. And it's doing what it's supposed to do immediately. See how it turned from that deep rust red and it's developing this cloudy white look to it. That's our chemical reaction happening. Give me just a second here. stuff on my skin or on any surfaces. Okay, well, a lot of times, a lot of times it's really cool to add the stuff drop by drop, and I guess that's really what I should have done, but whatever. When you add it drop by drop, you can actually see that the drop plunge in and then Everything that it touches turns white. It's kind of cool, but um, you see what we got going on here. So now it's just a matter of I'm going to let this sit and uh, let it slowly cool down to room temperature and just do my best to leave it alone and not disturb it. And eventually what's going to happen is, uh, is the Harmala acetate that this was is going to convert into harmala freebase, which is insoluble in water and heavier than water. So 
This white cloudiness that you see is all microscopic crystals starting to grow, and as they grow bigger, they're going to sink down. So that's what we've got going on here. And uh, the idea is to, uh, is to turn the harmala into its free base, and then turn it back into harmala hydrochloride, and then back into free base again. And each time we do that, we remove a lot of impurities and contaminants. So if I do my job right, by the time I'm done, uh, three or four phase changes between acidic and basic, I'm gonna wind up with a very pure product. So um, thanks for hanging out, and we'll do this again soon.